All right, here we go. Here we go. Look at him. Like, yeah. y'all he'd be all right he'd be all right but hey on today's episode we got mr isaiah salter today and he's going to talk about his race quad with us like we stated before in a video before uh we just want to get people's passion out on uh on a vlog video youtube whatever it is we, we really want to get other people's passion out along with our passion too but before we get into today's video let's give an official shout out to our official sponsor graphicspotva.com it's right there. You know what I'm saying? The Etsy store is going to be right where? Right there. The Etsy store is right there. So, you know, reach out to them for all your graphic needs. Uh, professionally, you know, they can get it done. So please reach out to the graphicspotva.com and let's get into today's video. Who we have here today is Mr. Uh, Salter. And he's going to give us a, a little um, a little interview about his passion, which is uh, racing quads. And he has his son here. What's your son's name? Josiah. Josiah. How's your son, Josiah? And, um, you know, um, I asked for people to reach out to me through social media. And he's like, well, he was the first one to reach out to us. And we appreciate that sincerely. We really do. No problem. Because we really want to get people's passions out, especially when it comes to stuff like this. And I'm not going to call it stuff. I, I, I call it money. When yeah. I'm sitting there, I'm looking at money yeah. because of, uh, ain't don't nothing look cheap on that thing? You know, and I need to quit calling it a thing. It's a quad. <laughs> it's a quad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got it stretched and, you know, you got these carburetors on it. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I could tell you got to start it up with a starter. Yes, sir. Is that what that nut is yes, on sir. the side? Yes, sir. It takes a starter gun. So it takes a starter gun. So, you know, I'm kind of. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I kind of can assume what I'm looking at. But um, my first thing is, go ahead and give us an introduction of yourself, uh, you know, where you're from, your sponsors, anything you want to talk about. Give us a little intro. Of course, he told y'all, I'm Isaiah. They, they call me Full Sin Zay, or Zay. Like you said, I got my son Josiah with me. Um, I've been drag racing for about, i say since 2011. It's when I actually started and got introduced to it. My homeboy, Tony Swan, shout out to him. He took me to Slade's Park. Um, and after then, I, I was hooked. You know, that I brought me a CR250, and I've been going since then. Um, my sponsors, as of right now, I don't have sponsors that I can speak on at the second, but I do have two people that I can consider my sponsors, my boy, Brandon who he's building a dirt bike for me to ride right now. Um, my, my boy Dwayne Crump, he's also building a bike for me to ride this season as well. Um, those would be the two people I could consider a sponsor that I can speak on as of right now. All right. Um, I got one question for you. Slade still open? Slade's is not open anymore. Is that the one that was in Surrey? Yes. Okay, okay. They shut it down to make a solar farm. Really? Yep, they sold out to make the solar farm. Okay, okay. Because I do remember that uh, Slades and people going up there riding, and they had, like, what, some type of dunes up there? It was a trail park with the drag strip right in the middle of the trail park, and you're talking about a crowd. That was the place to be back then. Okay. That okay. was the place to be okay. Friday through Sunday. All right. Um, my, my next question for you is, do you do dirt and asphalt both? Um, I mainly do dirt. I have done asphalt on the dirt bike a couple times. 
wouldn't mind doing it again, but as of right now, I'm mainly in the dirt. I do want to probably sometime this year, hopefully, venture out and try the, the asphalt one or two times. Okay, okay. And when you're talking about asphalt, you're talking about taking it to the drag strip, or y'all got like a, a, a secret Mexico? Oh, when I say asphalt, I just drag strip, okay. Mexico, wherever I can, you know, and get it down. Okay, okay, yeah. I got you. And little man right here, little man, are, are you ready to race? Yeah, little man right here said he's ready to race. You you could tell he he uh when we were setting up he brought out his dirt bike he brought out the uh, the the pedal bike you know he he you you could tell it's in his blood you could tell it's in his blood little little man what you got to tell us? Well, what, what what grade are you in? Kindergarten. He's he's in kindergarten. Yes. He's in kindergarten. Yeah, I mean this stuff inspires me. I love seeing things like this uh, when it comes to a father and son, father and daughter parents involved 100% I love seeing it because uh, it inspires me into what I'm doing uh, with this channel and with what we do with um, Buick Grand Nationals and now the Junior Dragster right. and even RC cars so you inspire me dude you know I, I just want to put man. that on camera you really inspire it. me and that's what made me jump when you sent me the message you know what I'm saying and you know it was like this was going to happen you know nice. what I'm saying? Yes, I understood, sir. you know, the vacation time and all that. Please yes, do. Sir. Please do. Take your vacations and all that because we're going to be here. Yes, sir. Wait, wait. But he's been, since he could walk, he's been in the dirt bikes, four wheelers. He's been down the, the drag strip, the dirt a couple times. Okay. Um, when he had his YZ50. But he outgrew that a little quick and it was a little too slow for him. So that YZ50 is smaller than that one right there? The YZ50 is a four wheeler. Oh, it's um, a four wheeler. Yeah. I thought it was a dirt bike. Yeah, no, it's a four wheeler. Okay. So now we transitioned him over to the two wheel side. And okay. We're going to try him out. He seems to do pretty good on his balance. So bike. did you start out on dirt bikes first or four wheelers? I started off on dirt bikes. Okay. And then okay. I eventually veered over to four wheelers. I don't even know how I got to riding four wheelers. Okay. I, I when it got me a Wav Z four fifty, I think that was the first four wheeler I actually raced on. Okay. Um, built me a Wav Z four fifty, and then after that, I've owned a couple more four wheelers. Now here's the question of the day for you: Which one do you like better? Do you like two stroke or four stroke? Uh, uh, that's, a, that's a tough one. See, that's a tough I knew one. it. That's a tough I knew one. it. Ah. Uh, it's something about that raw power of the two-stroke, though. Okay. Well, uh, in a two-stroke, the power band is high, right? Yeah. Like, it just winds up. And depending on how, up. how they built it, they probably got the power valve removed and all that good ah, stuff. And wide you. open. Got power you. straight from the head of the throttle. Got you. Got yeah. you. That's where you get them. Uh, I went out. What was that farm? I went out a couple of years ago. You guys was racing at that farm um, out off Route 10. Uh, yeah, and, I, and I, was, I was amazed at the rooster tails that these things be throwing, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. When I'm talking about the dirt, yeah, don't I'm stand like, behind it. <laughs> yeah, I was amazed don't at it. I mean, it. I mean, I know I'm behind the camera, but the rooster tail was oh, yeah, coming up yeah, to, yeah, to the gutter yeah, of yeah. the garage right here. Yeah, you know, I went out there twice. Tina, do you remember us going out there? Yeah, to that farm, and they was out there racing the quads and the. That dirt was bikes. actually my boy Gerard Wooden's farm. Okay. Yep, we, we, we made that track out there and it, was, it started off as just a little test spot. But the boy I ride for now, the other bench, he, that's how we got together. We, gotcha. we we started racing off in the streets, racing each other in the streets gotcha. on the bikes. And then we went to the dirt and we made that little track in the field and then it just, that's when County Line evolved. Also, we, before you, uh, uh, before we end this, I want you to share any social media that you have um, because I know I follow one of your social, uh, your Instagram, which is Full Sin Zaddy, right? Full Sin Zay sixty nine. Full Sin Zay. I'm sorry, I said it. <laughs> my bad. That might be bad. a good one to change it to one time. No, no, no. <laughs> don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. You know, but I do follow it, and uh, I like how you stated. Um, now I'm bringing up something that's positive that 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 you do. You travel to another state, and people recognize you. Yes, sir. I, I try to get in and go wherever I can, when I can, you know. Yeah. But my, my social media platforms, TikTok, you can find me at Full Sensei69. Instagram, same Full Sensei69. Um, Facebook, Isaiah Salter. Um, I believe that's all the socials that I have and post on as of right now. All right, all right. All right, team, run it. We're going to go ahead and cut it. We're, gonna let, we, we're not going to cut it. We're going to allow 
Mr. Salter to show us some uh, some things about his um, quad right here, but we're gonna use a different camera for that. So, uh, so give us a couple of minutes, not even a couple of minutes. Give us like five seconds. Uh, we got my Yamaha Banshee. Started off as a 350, now it's a 421. Um, call it a 468, four mil crank, 68 millimeter pistons in it. Um, it's, extended, <laughs> it's extended 10 inches out the back. Over stock link, um, we got a nice lockout in there. Hey, when you say lockout, what is that? The lock up. Um, oh, the it's type, the clutch. It's the type of clutch that's inside. That oh. You to do some fine tuning on the clutch. Just okay. The so when you say fine tuning, like on the launch or Correct. yeah. The launch and the shift points. You can how it shifts and etc. Okay. Ten inch arm on the back. Uh, hey, is that a custom arm? It is custom. I can uh, tell. I forgot when he's exactly talking about this. Who, I, who I got it from. Yeah, that arm right there. It looks sturdy, though. I ain't going to lie to you. That it thing looks look strong. Chrome Ollie. Oh, yeah, it's chrome strong. Ollie. You said enough right there. Yeah. Chrome Ollie, that's, that's enough. Everything is stock material on the bike other than the Chrome Ollie swing arm and the tie rods. Now, my next question for you, sometimes I, I think I saw a video or two or maybe a picture of you not running it with the seat on. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. You know, I'm like, man, they run it with, without the seat. Yeah, I, I had a wild hair up my butt and I tried it without the seat and I had a seat pan on it, which I knew really wasn't going to go well being as the seat pan was positioned all the way on the back of the swing all the way back here. So all my weight back there. And okay. Had the right clutch set up. I knew it wasn't gonna go right. It was should have had a willy bar on the back. Ah. Uh, I'm a wild guy, so I said I'm gonna see what it's gonna do. I knew it was gonna try to backflip me, but I did it anyway. So you guys still uh, would run a willy bar even in dirt? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm learning. Hey, I'm learning. You me teaching me? I don't like the willy bars. I'm I'm part of the no bar scene. Okay. I don't like the bars, but I will run a bar. Okay. If I got the chance to, but for right now. Uh, no bar game. And one other thing I see that you got done is this for the light? Like how you got this panel here? Yes, sir. For for the light can yep. read. So I don't red light. Red light. Ah, because see, Peanut on, on your um, junior dragster, they sell something like that mm -hmm. to where the wheels. Because th these are similar to what's on his junior dragster. These wheels, yep. and um, and it's a little thing back there. It's almost like that. But you just gave me an idea. I don't even need to buy them. I'm going to do that. Nope. Man, I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Man, we try to save as much money as we can over here. With these bikes. Got you, man. Yeah. My boy yeah. Gary, he actually made that, cut it out to size and everything. Okay. So. Yeah, you just gave me an idea, man, because. That's just off of a Dunkin' Donuts sign. Dang. Hey. cardboard sign. And if it messes up, you make another one. There you go. Too yeah, easy. too easy, right? Yeah. Nah, it's nice, man. Nah, I look up to you for this because I remember being a kid. I used to always want a want a four wheeler, but of course we couldn't afford any. Right, same. And uh, and every time we came across a four wheeler, uh, my dad would get mad because uh, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, so they would be stolen, and you don't right. want no stolen man unless you want to go to jail, you know. And so we never got a four wheeler, so I was always amazed at them. Then a couple of years ago, it had to be over ten years ago, I had a a cheapy four wheeler that we tore up. We want them cheap. I yeah. can't even think of the name of it. And uh and we tore it up. It was a four stroke, but we tore it up. And then I gave it to a coworker and he fixed it and I don't know what else he did with it. But I always been amazed at four wheelers. But I'm really amazed at you as a person, how you got your son right here, little man involved right there, man. Don't you know, that, that that to me to me that's everything. You know what I'm saying? That's everything, man. I try to get him involved with the racing as much as possible. That's everything. He loves it. He wants to be at the track every day. Every See, day. He, know, he knows when it's time to go racing. He's really? Up the, the night before, he's like, "We go to the track tomorrow." I'm like, eh, I want to tell you yes or no, but maybe. <laughs> now, part two of this video going to be us being at Greens, getting some footage of you yes, out, out there making it happen. You know, that's going to be part two to the video. Uh, don't worry, this video will get uh, published. You know, it's going to get uploaded. But part two in the um, in the near future, I want to say in March time frame, uh, Team Run It, he's going to be out there at Greens running. 
and we want to get some footage of you running and some and some photographs of you running sure, too as you can see peanut right there yes sir uh, with, with the yeah, photograph sure. so all right team run it we're gonna close out this video but but before we close it out we are going to start the quad we gotta know what it sounds like and we got a racer that's gonna start it up for us he's gonna start it up for us so right you're gonna start it up for us like he's looking at me like you talking about me so he's gonna start it up for us. so a hey, uh before we close out the video let's get this startup going cold start even though it ain't cold outside look at him <laughs> all right here we go here we go look at him oh, yeah